South Korea's new daily COVID-19 tally dropped to the 3,000 range on Monday. That's the lowest figure in 160 days. With the downward trend continuing, the country is lifting more COVID-19 restrictions at care facilities. From Monday, unvaccinated people will be allowed to make face-to-face -face visits, providing they book ahead and show a negative test result. Lee kyung in with the details. Care homes and nursing hospitals were the last places with COVID-19 restrictions in place. The measures included a ban on in-person visits for unvaccinated people and limiting the number of visitors to four. <laughs> but starting Monday, face-to-face -face visits are allowed for anyone regardless of their vaccination status. And people no longer have to abide by the four visitor rule if reservations are made in advance and a negative COVID 19 test result is provided. Also, starting Monday, patients at these facilities are free to go outside if they had four shots or been infected after getting two shots. Up until now, they were only allowed to leave care facilities for medical purposes. The ease restrictions come as the country's daily cases have remained below the 10,000 mark for 10 days. There were 3,538 cases reported on Monday, the lowest in 160 days. This largely due to a boost in natural immunity following the massive Omicron outbreak. However, health authorities are still concerned about the 100 fatalities reported on a weekly basis as well as the prospect of another wave of infections expected in fall or even earlier as they say people's immunity will likely weaken. While authorities are preparing response measures for a future wave, they will also start discussing vaccinating young children aged from six months to five years old in line with a similar decision made by the U.S. FDA. Young Eun, Arirang News.